Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be demonstrating the how and why you should apply your scale for your objects. And we're going to do so by demonstrating the effects that applying your scale has with certain tools. Here in our example, we have two cubes and they are at this point exactly the same. They were originally cube objects that have been scaled up by a factor of four on the X axis. We can confirm this by looking at the X scale value here in the side panel, which you can access by pressing the N key on your keyboard. What we're going to do is we're going to apply the scale of this cube here. Then we're going to confirm just how applying the scale affects different tools. To apply your scale, hold down control and press A. This is going to bring up your apply menu. It's a longish list, but the only option we're interested in right now is the scale option, because that's the only transform that we have edited. Left click to apply the scale, and you will notice several things. First of all, nothing has changed with regards to the shape of the object itself. Second, the dimension value here is the same, set to eight meters. And third, the scale value has been reset back to a value of one. When we apply the scale of our object, we are assigning the shape and size of our model as the new default. So that becomes the original form of the model with the axes of X, Y, and C all set to one. So how does this affect the actual process of 3D modeling? Well, let's take a look by selecting both of these objects by holding shift and then left clicking and then pressing the tab key to go into edit mode. We're going to go to edge select. And first of all, I'm going to select this edge here. This was for our applied objects. I'm going to bevel this by holding down control and pressing B. When we do this, we can see that as we bevel, the bottom will make contact before the top. So we've got two edges that are created, one on top and one on the bottom. If we use a value of 0.5 and then press enter, this is what our bevel looks like if we bevel to 0.5 meters. Let's repeat this process with this edge on the second cube. Now remember, this is the cube that has not had its scale applied. We're going to hold down control and hit B to initiate the bevel. As I bring the bevel out, you will notice the behavior is straight away very different. If I use the exact same value of 0.5 and then press enter, you can see we have two entirely different results with regards to the bevel of our cubes. And all of this comes just by applying the scale of your 3D objects. The second tool that I want to demonstrate this with is the inset tool. We're going to hold control and press C a couple of times just to bring things back to the way they were before so that our cubes are identical with the exception of one of them having applied scale. Next, we're going to demonstrate this effect with the inset tool. So we're going to change to face select mode, and then I'm going to just select the top faces of each of my cubes. Now I'm going to press the I key to initiate the inset tool. So I'm going to press I and then bring my cursor in to create an inset. Straight away, you can see the change that applying the scale has on our inset tool. If I use a value of 0.5 and then press enter, both of these insets have been made using a value of 0.5, yet they appear to be completely different to each other. This is again another example of how our applying of our transforms affects various modeling tools. Thanks for watching guys, if you're interested in learning more about Blender then check out the link in the description below.
This will take you to the Blender Bootcamp, which is our own library filled with Blender learning resources such as classes, full courses, further tutorials, workshops, and more. Check out the link in the video description and gain access to all of these resources for free for a 30-day trial period.